I had kind of a fun celebrity story this week, kind of a behind the scenes story. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So we uh, gossip, you know, some gossip, some gossip. It's just kind of funny. Uh, dealing with publicists can be amusing sometimes. I know you guys book guests, so you've done this, and uh, so we were looking for our holidays. We try to. Yeah. Right. Uh, <laughs> so uh, so Peter Billingsley is producing uh, the Christmas Story musical that's being put up. Mm-hmm. And so we and thought it he would is be... the son of Barbara B- Billingsley, uh, June Cleaver. He's the he's the little guy from the Christmas story. He's Ralphie, right? He's Ralphie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, all right. So he's a little the star. And uh, can I just admit something right now? Yeah, I have never seen that movie all the way through. Oh, maybe that's why you don't have Christmas spirit. <laughs> Could be. That, that's... There's nothing about it that appeals to me. <laughs> I when think... I look at it, it just no. reminds me of my all of my bad Christmases. Oh, I see. I thought they would bring up some nice nostalgia for you. No, no. Yeah, nostalgia. We we thought it'd be fun to get him on the cover for our holiday issue, but it would. Now only this make... is the kid, the kid from yeah. this Billingsley, the, the kid who was in the movie that I never saw, who Ralphie. is now producing the musical. Yes, yeah, so he's he's Ralphie, he's the kid with the. Even hat. though the movie doesn't have any songs, right? Right, the kid. He's got yeah, right. It's, he's the kid with his like tongue on the bowl and all that kind of stuff. So. Right, uh, right. So the um, does he get shot with a BB gun? I don't know, Steve. Uh, he gets he's. Oh, you didn't see it either. <laughs> An icicle falls on his face, and right. he's not the one that put his tongue to the pole, guys. Okay, no. come on. I'm totally wrong. <laughs> yeah, wow. Get some anger boy. In how, so, boy, how so, stupid are we, Frank? Huh? So, we're pretty stupid. He gets oh, his yeah. mouth washed off with soap. Yeah. But smart enough to know that he's an iconic Christmas figure. So mm-hmm. we thought we'll get him on the cover. And we'll put him in like the hat, the, fl- the with the flaps, the ear flaps. You know, yeah, Take a right. little nod to the to the season, to the show that he's producing that you would think he might want to promote, right? And you want to borrow Pete's hat, <laughs> exactly, <laughs> because he has the replica hat from the hat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we reach out to the publicist, and you know everything's going well, and then we say, hey, you know, uh, what if we did something with with Christmas Story? Since you know he was the star of that movie, and since he's producing the show, and the, the you know, and the interview would be about the show. And so uh, she comes back and she says, "Well, you know, he doesn't like to uh, doesn't like to to, uh, to reference his childhood. You know, that was his Jeez. childhood, and and it's, and and, mm. and like kind of like we're crazy for asking, right? <laughs> it was like so. It was like one of those kind of surreal conversations where where you end up saying, okay, that's fine, but you do realize he's producing a musical based on the uh, the movie he starred in as a child, <laughs> and the only thing that he's ever done, really." Well, he's produced some other stuff, but like as a yeah, as a big star, I mean, in, mm-hmm. in front of the camera, I think. Just so, and, but you're still going to do something for him? No, no, good. <laughs> well, good. you know, I mean, it doesn't make sense to do a cover unless you have the reference to the, the, the film, right? Because then um, Pete would see it and go, "Oh, that's the <laughs> oh, I, oh, I love that movie." <laughs> A but, sing, that's you know, going to be a sing along type when you, thing. <laughs> when you're like a grown up child star and you and you exploit your childhood stuff, but then you kind of act like you don't want to be associated with it. Right. That's you know. It's like Danny Bonaduce. Yeah, I was thinking of Danny. Uh, that seems D- to be kind of not want to talk about the Partridge Family. Right. <laughs> oh, okay, Danny. Let's talk about your fine radio work. <laughs> <laughs> Someday when Macaulay Culkin does the Home Alone musical, that's going right. to be magical. He doesn't like to, but he doesn't like to <laughs> reference his childhood. He never puts his hands to his face. <laughs> right, right. He will not do that. <laughs> yeah. And it must have cost him some money to get the story from Gene Shepard's estate, I would imagine, right? Yeah. I mean, I don't know uh, where he is on the production. See, protocol. I know Gene Shepard. I know it's Gene Shepard. Right. Dropping some knowledge there. <laughs> yeah. But I, I'm not a big fan of his humor, actually. So, A little too Mark Twain-ish for me. <laughs> Not a big fan of Mark Twain either, really. <laughs> the folksy stuff, not not doing it for you. Yeah, or Garrison Keillor, any of that crap. Not a big fan of it. 